I can give the example of CADEP, for example, mm -hmm. the Comprehensive Africa Agricultural Development Program, which is again a region, the continental initiative. It's a kind of model of development. Uh, we see uh, recently what is the difference, you know, why are countries um, interested uh, more and more in adopting continental level initiatives. It is uh, number one, uh, it is related with all what they expect uh, to be the role of continental organizations uh, like the African Union Commission. These consultations, this regional forum, uh, which, which these regional institutions create or provide forum for leaders to meet regularly. They meet twice a year. You know, there is a summit, African Union summit takes place twice a year. And we report on a regular basis on progress of implementation of the, the framework, the policies that they have adopted. And increasingly, they, have also, uh, they, they are also seeing the benefits of these ones. As I said, Rwanda, for example, now is being used as an example, as a success story uh, in terms of uh, enhancing agricultural productivity, enhancing the economic growth through agricultural productivity. And so other countries wanted to take lesson from this kind of experiences. So uh, it's serving as a mutual learning uh, forum mutual learning opportunities for others. So these regional uh, organizations are really playing a very important role, together with the regional economic communities. If you take the, one of the, the, the outputs, uh, the voluntary guidelines, it is uh, on, on land issues. Uh, they are working on that uh, after the, the framework and guidelines uh, of the Africa Union has been adopted. Uh, I would like to see uh, if sufficient reference is made to that process because I see a lot of overlapping. This is really a, a missed opportunity. Uh, it is working on a global uh, kind of an international guideline, even though it is a voluntary guideline on land policy, and yet it uh, did not benefit from interaction with a regional entity, an um, uh, intergovernmental body, namely the African Union, which has already gone through the same process of developing a framework and guidelines on land policy in Africa. Uh, so uh, I think this is a lesson that they they need to take. Africa uh, has been vying for increased investment in agriculture. Agriculture sector in Africa is one of the under uh, source, uh, re resourced, under uh, invest invested. But also as they are making that kind of investment, we would like it to be a responsible kind of investment. We would like it to benefit uh, the country in terms of many things. It could be in terms of achieving food security. It could be in terms of technology transfer. It could be in terms of employment generation. It could be in terms of foreign currency. What I was actually not uh, very enthusiastic about is the tendency to brand any deal that this will land as negative. Uh, the, the, the terminology land grabbing is a negative uh, terminology and it will uh, actually discourage engagement with state, with governments, to make uh, the, the, uh, the investment transactions you know, to, you know, more uh, a kind of win-win situation. If you, if you start Talking about land grabbing, you know, there is no need for discussion. We should be open. That's what I wanted to send across.